Today we are solving the problems over the degree of freedom by using the Glauber equation. F is equal to 3 into n minus 1 minus 2 j1 minus j2, where f is the mobility or number of degree of freedom, when n is the number of link including the frame, j1 joined with a single degree of freedom, the formula is n plus l minus 1, where small l refers to the number of loop and j2 joined with a 2 degree of freedom. Here j1 refers to the lower pair and j2 refers to the higher pair. The condition for Glauber equation is if f is greater than 0, mechanism has a constrained motion and f is equal to 0, statistically indetermined, sorry, determined structure, f is great, less than 0, statistically indetermined structure or superstructure. These are the conditions given by the Grubler equations. Now based upon this one, we are solving the lower pair problems. These are the lower pair problems. First, in the lower pair, these are the lower pair, first problem. This is the frame 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here, this is the formula f is equal to 3 into n minus 1 minus 2 j1 minus j2. n is the number of links. There are 4 links. And now, one more, finding the lower pair. This is one more formula. j1 is equal to n plus l minus 1. Here, no higher pair. Therefore, this becomes 0 here. That means everything will be the surface contact. There is no point or line contact. Now, substitute the value of n here. n is 4. Loop. Loop is nothing but this closed refers as a loop. This is a 1 loop. 1 minus 1. 1 on cancel. It becomes the 4. If you substitute this value here, it becomes f is equal to 3 into 4 minus 1 minus 2 into 4. And this becomes what? 3 into 3 minus 8. Here, 9 minus 8 is nothing but 1. As it 1, that means f is greater than 0. Therefore, the condition is mechanism as a constrained motion. Now, I will go for the second one. I will first go for the naming 1, 2 and 3. 3 links are there. n is equal to 3 here. For And everything is about the lower pair. Therefore, j1 is equal to n plus l minus 1. n is the 3. l is nothing but 1 here. 1 loop, close 1 loop, minus 1. This is cancel. As you substitute in the formula, f is equal to 3. 3 minus 1, minus 2 into 3. 3, 2, minus 6. It is nothing but 0 here. As it is 0, f is equal to 0. Statistically determined structure it is. Now we are solving the problem over the third problem. Now this is one link. This is also one link. Fix is always considered as a one link here. One, two, three. And this piston is considered as a fourth link. Where n is equal to four. I have to go for j1 is equal to n plus l minus one. Where n is the four and closed loop is here only one loop, closed loop. Therefore, I will consider 1 minus 1, this and this cancel. Substitute this in formula. F is equal to 3 into 4 minus 1 minus 2 into 4. 3 into 3 minus 8. And this becomes what? 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. And this is condition satisfy. F is greater than 0 mechanism as a constrained motion. Now we are solving the problem about the fourth problem. First I will consider the links. I will 1, 2, 1. This fixed links we will consider as a one link here. Next I will go for 2, 3 and this is the fourth link. It is a plate. 4, 5 and 6 link. There are 6 links here. Therefore n is equal to 6. And j1 is equal to n plus l minus 1. Now loop, just draw a dotted line from, from this point to this point. 
How many loops here? One and two loops are there. Therefore, J1 is equal to 6 plus 2 minus 1. Is a thing, but eight minus one is a thing, but seven. If you substitute this value, f is equal to three into six minus one minus two into seven, three into five minus fourteen. 15 minus 14 is nothing but 1. As it 1, it satisfies the condition when f is greater than 0, mechanism has a constrained motion. Now, I will go for a little bit tough problem over the lower peg. This is the tougher one. First, I will Go for the naming of the fixed plate 1, 2, and 3. Next, I will go for the name of this one 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 links. Here, 8 links where n is equal to 8. I will go for finding j1, j1 is equal to n plus n minus 1, where 8 plus now, loop we have to find out. How many loops are there? One loop, two loop, and three loops. Plus three, minus one. And this becomes what? Ten. If you substitute this value in formula, f is equal to three, eight minus one, minus two into ten. And this becomes what? Three into seven, minus twenty. And this become 21 minus 20 and this is also 1. That means f is greater than 0. Mechanism has a constrained motion. I will go for this solving the problem over this one. This fixed link is considered as a one link. 1, 1, 1, 1. And this will be 2 link. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 links. There are 11 links. n is equal to 11. I have to go for finding the lower pair. j1 is equal to n plus l minus 1 minus 1 where n is nothing but what? 11. How many loops are there? Now this small dotted line has to be applied here in this way. Now the loop become 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 loops plus 5 minus 1 and this becomes what 16 minus 1 is a thing but 15 here if you substitute this form the values in formulas f is equal to 3 into 11 minus 1 minus 2 into 15 this become what 3 10 minus 15 is nothing but 30 here and this is 30 minus 30 it will be 0 that means statistically statistically indeterminate structure these are the problems over the lower pair now we are focusing about the higher pair problems these are the higher pair problems now In this case, I will not consider any loop here. I will consider directly joint. Now listen, how to consider the joints here? We are not considering a loop. That is the important part here. Higher pair is nothing but a point or line contact comes in contact. Now I will go for naming 1, 1, 2 and 3. Therefore, n is equal to what? 3 links. Now, we are going for joint. How many joints are there? One joint, two joint. Two joint. Now, J2, 
Line contact is there? Definitely. There is a one line contact. Therefore, one. Substitute this formula F is equal to 3 into n minus 1 minus 2j1 minus j2. 3 is equal to 3 minus 1 minus 2 into 2 minus 1. And this becomes what? 3, 2, minus 4, minus 1. 6, minus 4, minus 1. The answer for this one is nothing but 5, 6, minus 5. The answer for that one is nothing but one here. That is mechanism as a constrained motion. Now we are solving out the second problem here. Now he, this is the welded point. That means this link is not moving at all. It is completely welded here. 1, 1, 2 and 3 link. n is equal to 3 here. Now joint J is equal to the two joint, one and two joint. This is welded one, therefore it not considered as a joint here. Two joint and G2 is equal to one here. If you substitute the formula, you will get the same answer as a as above. That means equal to one. The same we will be operating. That is, the mechanism as a constrained motion. Now we are solving about this problem here. I will consider the link 1, 1 and 1. These are the fixed link. This is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 link. That means n is equal to 7 here. How many joints are there? J1 joint. Now consider the joint. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 joint are there. 8 joint. And J2 will be 1. J2 is the 1 point contact. If you substitute these values in the formula, F is equal to 3 into N minus 1 minus 2J1 minus J2. That means 3 into 7 minus 1 minus 2 into 8 minus 1. That means 3, 6, minus 14, minus 1, 12, sorry, 18, minus 14, minus 1. This will be the 3 here. Something I have done wrong here. Just wait. Three, this is six, and this is sixteen minus one, eighteen minus sixteen minus one. The answer will be one. That is the mechanism as a constrained motion. One more problem is there. This is the problem. I will consider the link 1, 2, 3 and this one as a 4. 4 link. When n is equal to 4, I have to consider the joint 1, 2 and 3 joint. And J2 will be 1. Here is a point contact. F is equal to 3 is equal to 4 minus 1 minus 2 into 3 minus 1. 3 is equal to 3 minus 6 
minus 1 9 minus 6 minus 1 that means degree of freedom thank you very much for listening